Now let's talk about undos. Kind of seems a little bit premature, but it does go hand in hand a little bit with Z projects and tool options. So we're gonna hit comma key. We're gonna go in here to tool. Again, we'll just load up the dog tool here. We'll go ahead and hit the comma key again, drag it on our canvas, go into edit mode, and we can start sculpting here. See, every, team, every single time I start sculpting, a little orange dot starts going across our canvas. I'm gonna go through here, I'm just gonna do a bunch of brush strokes on this dog. We know how to navigate, we know how to press on our tablet, so we're all caught up here. You're gonna see, as I do this, I'm getting more and more of these dots up here. This is your undo slider, so I can actually drag this and drag all the way back, and these are all of our undos. ZBrush will save, the, save up to 10,000 undos. So while you're working in ZBrush, going up here and dragging through here is an easy way to kind of just scrub through your undos. Now, if you're going up here and like changing your Z intensity, and you're not using your space bar key or anything like that, you may accidentally touch your undo slider and not realize it, and then start sculpting, and you'll lose all of that progress forward. If that's a concern of yours, you can go in here to Preferences, Undo History, and you can say Show Undo Selector or Hide It. So let's click this on or off, and of course you're going to want to save uh, Config, Store Config, if you want to keep that for your startup. You can see Max Undo History is here at 10,000, and in here it's Enable Saving is turned on, so when uh, we go up here to File, Save As, uh, it will save your Undo History if you have this clicked on. By default it's not clicked on. Storing your Undo History especially if you're using things like morph targets or when we get into like history project and you know, like control tapping in your history that's going to save your model state right there so if you're working in like tens of let's control click that again and go to the front here if you're working in just a ton of undo history and really high resolution files that's really really going to bloat your file size so that's why that's off by default if you do want to save your undo history then uh, feel free to turn that back on. Uh, another thing you can kind of do that's kind of neat is you can scroll through your undo history and you can go in here to movie and use these history buttons to actually scrub through your history and it'll actually change your camera angle based on where your brush stroke starts. That's a cool way to kind of, you know, play back the creation of a file. But if you're not planning on doing any of that and you don't need access to every single brush stroke you made on your object here, just going here to tool save as will save your tool without undo history or file save as with this turned off will save a Z project without undo history. Now you can also go in here to edit and here's your undo counter. So instead of clicking and dragging in that uh, slider up there, this is your counter just with the slider. Uh, if you want to clear some space, you can go in here and say delete older undo history. So you can just click that and all the undo history previously is gone and you can continue working forward. You can delete all of your undo history if you want. But that's the basics of undo history, how you can uh, use it visually and how you can save it with your files if you need to.